because we have added some new things on Fridays. If you don't know, on Fridays we now do a special needs class, and we are working on developing a homeschool art class, and then we'll be open to the studio regular after that. So literally Fridays we will be open from 10 until 8. And I get people ask me, like, freaking out. Like, what is going to smooth you out with the Yes. Which we still have a good portion of planning to do. Yeah. Our goal is to have a school um, program ready in January. Yeah. I had so, a conversation that not the parents asked me about that too. She said she wants to start bringing her like, could we do on Friday?
just had a quick yes. comment. If you find something and it does, it's not, there's no label, grab a sticky, put a label on it. We will add a label at one point because it might be one thing that we missed. So if you mm -hmm. do find something, <laughs> yes, That's put a sticky idea. on it. So then the last thing on our goals is our just our staff communication. I had an idea because uh, we text, but sometimes you know catch up with the text for a while, and then some people respond, and others won't, and then I don't know who's actually read read it. Stay in the loop. So I thought with a group me, mm -hmm. communication was better for everybody. That's good. Good. Is that the same thing we're using for the for the board? I'm not getting them. I'm gonna make sure you got group me. Okay. Look forward. Okay. okay. It's just like a group text app. Oh. We'll, we'll get them to you. I don't say no, sorry. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's easy for me to just. No, y'all can. I just need you to be able to be in the loop too. So it's important. If we go group me, you have to. It's not an app, right? Isn't it yeah. an app? Yeah. Yeah. My phone is in my chats, but I'll be on my feet. Let's see if we can get it on there. Christmas, so we're going to do all sorts. 
sorts of things each day during that week. We're gonna figure out the timing on that um, and let everybody know. So, yeah. What is that? The week before Christmas? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be able to help out with the last week. Yeah. Are there like 20 bucks? Yeah. We're gonna try to make everything 20.
we're going to start theming out each month. I thought we would just talk through the next three months, December being our um, next month coming up. So that feature on the rolling cart, I suggested some kind of wooden ornament that we make. We've got a bunch of wooden ornaments and they, we can put a little tree on there and it can be a simple project that they can paint or they can draw or whatever they want to make a hand. You can have little desks like the white desk. Yeah, those, but we've also got bulbs. So we can come up with some sort of display. They can choose the ornament that they want to do and that would be the, the pitch when they walk in the door for December, all of December. Cool. And then uh, gift wrapping. That's the other thing that we can, we'll kick off all month of December, we offered free gift wrapping with a donate for donation. It was a really good fundraiser the last two years for us. Um, and we've got tons of, I saved boxes upstairs for this. And then we've got all that gold the foil wrap and stuff. This is what we use for this too. So we'll just start promoting like we normally have in the past. But I want all of you guys to know that we're going to start talking about it. And yeah, we, we have offered it. And I've got several people that have already volunteered that just want to be our gift wrappers. So we'll have people maybe sign up for days to drop their stuff off and we'll tell them, okay, we will be ready. Uh, however long we'll have them fill out a little. I would like to propose amongst the wooden ornaments. I don't know if you have, I mean, you know, everything upstairs. So I don't know if, if there are like, little wood drill or like a candlestick, not like a menorah, but just like a wood candlestick or something. Yeah, they can. 
And you're welcome to start with, like figuring out how to do that and then start yeah. the project and move on. Yeah. 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 That and the, the holly. Whatever. Yeah, especially if it's something that we're like, okay, we're gonna just stop here. And volunteers come in and they can pick up and do pieces of it. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah. Help. And you have had in the past, we had like a, a photo op thing outside. Yeah. Which I don't know if so many if people want to do it this time of year. It would be cool if there was a way to like hang a bunch of snowflakes yeah. on like fish wire at different intervals. So almost yeah. it's like they're in it and they're it's like all yeah. around them. We, I mean, did, we do need, need a, a winter year of wings, right? Last year we did the whole paper snowflake thing. That was inside the thing. It was inside. Outside. It was like elf and they had all the snowflakes oh like gosh. filled all over it. That was We took them down. I almost died. That was the inside of our like last year. So we'll keep working through those ideas. I like I like it. Um, okay, moving on. Yeah. Cool. We wanted to talk about training needs. Um, well, we kind of already talked about if anyone doesn't know where something is, so we'll skip that one. How to find it, whatever. But I do want to talk about everyone taking initiative and ownership um, in the shop, and like especially when it's slow, like instead of just like getting on your phone or just sitting there, I want everybody to look around the studio and be like, what can I do right now to make the studio better? Whether it's cleaning something or making something for the wall or whatever, but like that's really what we need to be doing with every moment that we're there. You're getting paid to be there to help make the studio better. So that's what we need to be doing always. So I just want to challenge you all to take initiative and ownership of everything that you're doing while you're there. If you see something that's dirty, clean it. If you yeah. see that the trash is full, take it out. Because if you're not going to do it, you're pushing that on somebody else. Mm -hmm. And that's not, you know, that's right. not how we want to be for a team member. So everybody be. Yeah. And then posting on Instagram, do not forget to do that. The more you're posting on stories, the better. And then just communicate. If you're struggling with something or you don't know what to do, whatever, just reach out. We're here to help with that. Any questions on those things? The last two is opening and closing procedures. I'm just going to open it, open it up because I'm finding some of these things aren't getting done. So I want to make sure everybody knows exactly what to do when you open. The first few things that you need to do are empty the dehumidifier from the office, dump the water into the sink, and then put it back and it'll just restart again. Set up the outside, get a post up on Insta stories, hey, we're open, whatever, anything like that. And then look for all the notebooks and the calendar and see what is kind of gonna be happening for that day or the next few days so you kind of are in the loop. And then closing procedures, carefully put everything away, check all the brushes. We are struggling to keep these brushes nice and organized. I reorganize them with different color tips on the bottom. So all the purples go in the purple container, the greens go in the green, the yellow go in the yellow. The paint is starting to come off of them already. We're trying to figure out an alternative, maybe spray paint, um, but try really hard to wash them without getting the paint <laughs> to come off of the end and try really hard to put them back in the proper spot for them because all the fanned ones we want all together, the fine tip ones together, you know. That's cool. Actually, so I, the last couple times I've used them, I washed them and then I like, sh like made sure they weren't like dripping wet and then I laid them on the side. Where are they, are you supposed to like, is, are they supposed to be like dried off or is it just a lot of like air out before you put them back? Air out. Okay, so it's okay to leave them on the side and then do it yeah, the next day? because they need to be dry. Okay. Yeah. Because I was like, uh-oh, I didn't dry them. Wait, do we not do the little pool noodle yes, things anymore? Yeah. Stick them straight up? Yeah. No, you, as long as they're in there, they're good. Oh. They just need to dry there. Okay. Once they're dry, put they get side. Maria, can we, yeah, let's clear that up, not straight up, it's that way. You like it, it's not Are you moving the side or like we lay them? No, I've been laying them on the edge of the sink with the bristle oh, no. sticking over the edge of the sink. Where the microwave is in the corner, there's like a box where we put like, you know, the... So behind... I, that's the, the, you said, I think when we, they dumped the bottoms in the paint colors, but I didn't know that was for drying off. Yeah. yeah. But hey, how could you have done it unless you were like there when we were hitting them and we started that, so. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I know. Doesn't matter <laughs> if, the, if they're in the pool noodle, if they're up or sideways. If they're up, uh, then all that water just stays there, right inside of the, the cap. Like the, that was the dry rod on the rim at the bottom. Okay, so then let's angle. Oh, wet rod, actually. Okay, not straight up. We'll angle on. Okay. Cool. Everyone on the image? I've been doing it wrong the whole I've time. I've been doing it wrong right okay. too for months. A lot of it's everybody around the world. Does. She's the one that brought it to my attention to not have them upright, so. They're all falling off. Like, all wasn't even thinking about it. Loose, I'm like, I don't know what's causing that. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> okay, and then we want to sweep and wipe down the floors and the chairs and the tables and all of that every single night. And then 
I already said to touch every bin in the, cra the trash crafts and the art part gets super organized. Do a once around all of those every single night before you peace out and if everything looks good and you're super proud of the way the space looks, if I were to walk in with a $100,000 sponsor, they would look at that studio and be like, yes, I'm donating mm -hmm. because it looks awesome. Mm -hmm. So think of that before you close. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The last, any, anything about any of the stuff on this? Um, looking at, is Trello, do we go over Trello, looking on there for your days off requests and make it Oh, better? I did not. So Trello, um, everyone knows where to go on Trello to put in your requests for any time off. Yes, I didn't know we put it there. I thought we told you and then it got added. Either way. Okay. Either way, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then literally put your entire availability there too because if for the off chance that we have like a day where we're like crap everybody is requested this one well maybe you, this person can do it because it doesn't say that they can't do it we'll put that person on there without knowing they're not even available at that time. And if time. that happens I want to point out real quick now a week beforehand if it happens and the next week you see oh no if it's been on there on Trilo uh -huh. for about you know, what, a month. And then you see on that last week, oh no, I can't work that. I didn't even know I was there. And it's a, we're in that week. It's already yeah. Sunday and you just realized I can't work Thursday. Well, at this point, not not talking about you. Anybody, anybody. Um, but you were like, oh, I can't work that day. Well, find someone to, 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 to do it for you because then I've got, or I or yeah. have to call, to call everybody and figure out well, who can and yeah. hopefully we can have like a backup so yeah. I can take off work or something. Yeah. But in, ca in that case, just make sure you find someone who can cover it. And, and saying that, beforehand, try to look at the schedule two weeks out. I know nobody knows what they're doing a month out, yeah. but you know what you're doing two weeks out. If yeah. something comes up, just call us out. Be like, hey, this just come up. I don't know what to do. What can I do? Let's find someone to cover it for you. And if you can't, I'll help you out. No big deal. Yeah. No big deal. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Any questions? So the rest of these sheets, I'm not going to really go over. I'm just going to tell you what they are so you can look at them at your own time. But we've got a Not Your Parents Art Night outline. It's everything that we do for that. Um, one new thing with it, just so if anybody is doing it, we are going to serve popcorn, but we are not going to endlessly serve popcorn. We only have <laughs> max, so right now, like six kids that have done it. Like two bags of popcorn should be totally fine for that many kids. I did, but like for the four kids, it took like almost three bags. Yeah, well, like, they're, they're like, small bags. Endlessly. Yeah, like I put them in little cups, okay. but like, cause when you make them, there's not a lot in them. So. Is it a normal bag? Like no, it's, like it has even less popcorn than like a normal. Okay, bag. I was anticipating them being that size, no. so we'll check and see what we got. And if the um, ones I was using that, that there's like a bunch of them that look like it had been used before. I thought I bought like three or four kids. Yeah. And they were like, oh, oh more. Yeah. Like, there wasn't a lot in it, but yeah. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we'll allot it like. X amount for this many kids and be like, that's it. Oh, yeah. Like a scoop. Yeah. Yeah. Just because we. Three bags is good for four kids. Mm -hmm. I didn't like if they're bags. little bags. But yeah, if it's a normal it's size, like, like normal I'd say two bag max. Oh, yeah. For that. Um, that's the only, the only addition to Not Your Parents Art Night. Ashley is going to be having all of the projects pre made. We're going to try to get way ahead of that so that way. Come the night, whoever's doing it knows exactly what to do. It'll be super easy. Thank you, Ash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm like, all right, guys, we're using exacto knives and glue guns. <laughs> Bye, Mom and Dad. All right. We got a sheet that has all the workshops. It just gives you an outline of all the workshops that we do offer. One that's everything that we do offer in the studio, just in general, on another sheet. And then if someone wants to do a private party, it's all the details of that. So you just kind of have the information there. And then if you wanted to make your own off the wall project, this kind of is like a template to use for what we need. The supply list, how much it's gonna cost, step by step on how to make it, give it a name, all of those sorts of things. The age demographic that could potentially do it, time, how long it would take to make it. Yeah, no, no not just workshops, uh, off the wall projects or new projects. Yeah. And we're just gonna have all of these empty at the studio, so if you're if you're doing one, just always take one of these sheets and fill it out while you're doing it. Okay.